Look at one of the challenges of the LXP. The LXP was brought in to solve engagement issue. And the engagement issue is because companies may have had multiple LMSs or one centralized old school LMS. And behind that old school LMS is a, obviously an ugly navigation system and some really boring content. Simply putting another layer that's shiny on top of it doesn't solve that underlying problem. And that's essentially what, the, what many LXPs did, I think, to the corporate function. Th those that have purchased LXPs and worked made a fundamental change to how they think about learning. They made a fundamental change to how they think about their learning strategy. They made a fundamental change to how they think about their, their content, the accessibility of the content, the engagement of the content. So I think it's pretty clear that a strategy where you're simply covering up stuff that doesn't work in a shiny layer versus fundamentally having a different vision and a different strategy and having a technology that supports that is evident to see why some companies fail, some companies succeed. I think the second thing is that a lot of LXPs were solved to solve a problem within HQ at the head office rather than frontline. And that head office problem was all around, I've got hundreds of different roles. I want to provide career pathing learning to answer a new VP of talent problem um, around how do I help a person develop into their future role by recommending courses from them. And the companies may have had lots of different libraries of courses, loads of different skills, loads of different skill scaps. And the technology probably, up until now, up until the AI, wasn't really available to solve that problem well. So therefore, a lot of, I mean, it's almost impossible to find maybe one out of 100 big companies would say actually they have a good solution for that skills gaps capability where they're going to solve skills gaps to individuals' roles and personalize it and actually connect and do that in a dynamic way. I think technology does change that radically, but that's been a big issue. And I think the third issue is a lot of LXPs have completely ignored actually where the real action should be happening, which is the frontline worker. You know, the frontline worker, right, and this is the, the great capability if we think about how all our frontline workers learn today. If you ask the question, outside of their, their corporate workplace, they would say they go to YouTube, go to Google, they go to ChatGBT, TikTok, and the LXPs, some LXPs are obviously so far away from that world. So if we're ignoring that and we're ignoring the frontline worker, and the frontline worker, their metric of success is probably going to be, well, the leaders and the managers' metric of success is very different to the group HR VP talent metric of success, which we've already said is around, is this helping you stay in your job because it's helping you progress your career? Versus the frontline workers, real metric of success for the sales leader, call center leader and so forth is, is this technology allowing me to accelerate people to competency for new onboarders three times faster than before? And is it allowing my teams, my divisions and individuals to help support them do their job through access to knowledge, access to learning in the flow of work. So I think those are the, probably the, the three, big, three big things.